Hello, it's Brad with Exavault. In this video, we'll show you how to use the webhooks logs on your account to review webhook activity. Before your webhook logs will show activity, you must first log in as an admin and configure a webhook on the developer setting page. If you have not set up a webhook on your account, you may need to watch our How to Configure Webhooks video first. To view the logs, click on Activity from the main menu, then click on Webhook Logs. This table shows the full history of the webhook sent, both successes and failures. You can use this page to verify a webhook was sent, see more details about calls and responses for your webhooks, and manually trigger a resend for a failed webhook message. When viewing the webhook logs, you can reorganize or reorder the data shown in the table by sorting a specific column. When the sort arrow is pointing up, the data will be shown in ascending alphabetical or chronological order based on the column selected. If the arrow is pointing down, that indicates a descending alphabetical or chronological order. You can also apply filters for specific columns. Filters can be set as a start and end date for timestamps, a drop down selector for event types, or a specific text filter for attempt ID, endpoint URL, username, file path, or for status. In addition, you can apply more than one filter at one time. A green icon indicates when a filter is applied to a column. To remove the filter, select any green icon and then click Reset. To remove all filters, click the Remove Filters link. When exporting data from the webhooks logs, the CSV file download will include any applied filters. Here's a quick description of each column. The attempt ID is a unique identifier that includes the number of attempts for a specific webhook. The attempt count can be found in the suffix at the end of the ID. If you have a webhook that is failing, Exavault will attempt to trigger this up to eight times before it is removed from the queue. The eighth attempt happens about 12 hours after the first attempt. If the attempts persist until the final attempt, you will need to review your configuration to make sure the application is capturing webhook requests. The sent timestamp displays when the webhook request was sent from the Exavault server. Because Exvault will automatically try to resend webhooks that fail, this timestamp may be up to 12 hours after the original activity. Next is the endpoint URL column. It displays the webhook listener URL that will receive the notification for each webhook as configured in the original setup. The event column shows what type of activity caused the attempt. This is also configured during the original setup. The data in the username column shows the user who performed the action. For some activities, such as downloads from a direct link, it won't show an actual username. Path or file will show you the file or folder location that was changed by the operation. The status column will show you the HTTP status code for each webhook attempt. These are the standard HTTP status codes returned by your webhook listener. The last column includes a link to review more details for a specific webhook. Click on Show to review the information. At the top of the Details pop-up is the Webhooks Details section. This provides a summary of the table data from the webhooks logs. The next section is the Webhook Call. This is the exact JSON data that was sent to your webhook listener URL. To see how your application replied to the webhook, review the information in the Customer Response section. Here you'll see the full contents of the response your endpoint sent back to Exavault. This will be more helpful if your endpoint is set to return information in the response. You can use the Resend Webhook button at the bottom of the pop-up to manually send a new webhook request from Exavault to your webhook listener URL. For more information and to review request examples, be sure to check out the webhook section of our API documentation page. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.